The human race has always been at war with bacteria. But the development of antibiotics in the 1930s and 40s gave us the upper hand over the bugs that were killing us. Suddenly, we were superhuman. Prior to that, they were used to bacterial meningitis, 100% mortality. Bad pneumonia, 30% mortality. Appendicitis or ruptured bowel, 100% mortality. Unless you had surgery, the only cure really was surgical intervention to cut the infection out. Antibiotics allowed us to do things that no one could have dreamed of doing historically. They've allowed us to transplant organs. They've allowed us to undergo chemotherapy. They've allowed us to receive therapy in intensive care units when we're critically ill. Without antibiotics, none of those advances in human medicine would be possible. We've still got the upper edge. Clearly, antibiotics still work, but it's the speed of change that concerns me. 20 years ago, this wasn't an issue. Today, it's a real issue. You know, infectious disease kills more people than cancer. TB kills 5,000 people a day. So if we don't start to act soon, start to put our pedal on the gas pretty soon, within another 20 years, we could be in serious trouble. We've deployed our antibiotic defences far and wide, while the bacteria have kept up their counter-attack. They adapted and evolved. Now even our last precious antibiotics are surrendering to the rise of the superbugs.